Hello, I'm Patrick Reams, the Comtech Advisory. Uh, welcome back to our latest edition of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology. Today, we're going to be visiting with Mr. Bernard Delahaye, CEO of Brady. You want to stick around? So we're joined today by uh, Mr. Bernard Delhay, CEO of Brady, the London-based uh, provider of ETRM and CTRM solutions, the global energy and commodity markets. Bernard, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I, I look forward to our conversation. Uh, and in terms of that conversation, let's, let's just jump into it. Uh, Brady's a, a company that's been around for a very long time and has largely been built on acquisitions, uh, some admittedly more successful than others. Uh, and until recent years, uh, Brady's, or up to a couple of years ago, Brady was very successful, but ran into a bit of difficulty uh, several years ago, being a public company. I think that's, that's fairly common knowledge, but you appear to have emerged from that and again are beginning that acquisition development or, ac or growth via acquisition, I should say. Uh, most recently, your, your C-Risk and uh, your Igloo acquisitions have been uh, headline news uh, in this marketplace. So how do those acquisitions differ from the past uh, when Brady might have picked up some overlapping solutions or, or did pick up some overlapping solutions, particularly in Nordic markets? So how do these differ from that uh, in the past and, and what's the larger strategy related to these acquisitions? Uh, thank you, Patrick. Uh... Yes, we've been very busy on the uh, on the acquisition trail with, uh, and I will talk about the uh, Igloo and uh, the C risk acquisition. But uh, before I do, allow me just to put these acquisition into context, uh, referring to your comment about strategy. Sure. The company has been has a long experience in energy trading, in commodities trading, and in risk ma risk management uh, since its foundation in 1985. It has developed actually a very deep uh, expertise, and I would call it an IP. And when I mean IP, it's much more than obviously code and software. IP is really uh, understanding the business, understanding the intricacies of energy trading and commodities trading and risk management, understanding these intricacies and turning that into business workflows, understanding data sets, data structures, understanding also uh, the ecosystem, integrating these solutions with multiple platforms being market data or trading platforms. Now, with this deep understanding, we still uh, face a constant challenge, which is to adapt our solutions to the customer needs and the market opportunities. And that's where I link with your questions about the, the acquisition of uh, Igloo. Let's take the energy example. When we look with our customers at what's happening in the energy space, we clearly have a significant transformation in our market. And that transformation is from the old energy world of hydrocarbons and large scale generation to the new energy world, which is dominated by the renewables. And it's quite uh, topical to talk about it uh, today from, from here in, uh, in the UK, where we are having in uh, the conference of the parties, the 26th conference, talking about climate change and uh, Paris agreements. So there is a significant change happening in the energy world, uh, which, which creates a new requirements for customers. The traditional customers, the, the utilities, the, the traders, the oil and gas majors that have to adapt to that new world of energy, but also all the new entrants in the market. Uh, we see the entrance of the independent uh, power producers, the asset developers, wind farms and and, and solar farms. Uh, we see the commercial aggregators uh, aggregating the power and selling that to the to the market, but also the large uh, retailers. So there is a need for existing customers, but a need also for the new entrants to adopt their their capabilities in energy trading. Uh, and that's that's a that's a significant uh, op market opportunity. The company decided already last year to invest significantly with the backup of our new investors. As you rightly mentioned, uh, we delisted from the AIM and were acquired by the private equity Hanover investors. 
which provide not only financial support but also a lot of uh, business expertise and capabilities in, in st strategy and technology. So with their support, we've launched the Power Desk program and the creation of a, of a leading solution for short-term power. But we also recognize for many of the new entrants, they need ETRM capabilities. They, they, they can't deal with large platforms which were built for the old world of energy. They require a much more agile, uh, lightweight, SaaS type of uh, solution. And that's why it made imminent sense for us to complement the PowerDesk program with the acquisition for, uh, of Eglu. And uh, just a word also on the similar story, let's say, on this, on this risk management side. Uh, I talk about all these new entrants and what's happening in the marketplace. Clearly, these uh, institutions have to uh, manage counterparty risk even more so than before. And the credit risk uh, area has moved from a, what used to be a much more batch oriented type of activity to a much more real, near real time uh, capabilities with pre deal checking, for example, on the counterparty risk. And it's a natural evolution also for us to evolve platforms to the new capabilities. And that's why C risk was exactly uh, falling in line with that strategy. Uh, Brady's had a significant position in the, in the Nordic power markets, uh, primarily through the acquisitions of Navita and, and Elvis in the past. How does the development of PowerDesk impact the, those customers that are using uh, either Navita or Elvis? And what's the, the future look like for those two products? Uh, well, as you said, we the company did uh, acquisition to really enhance its uh, its presence in the energy trading world in in the Nordics uh, with uh, with these companies, and that has provided us with uh, some significant IP again expertise in in connection to the TSOs to the grid in scheduling and balancing solutions in uh, energy data management. Uh, and the transfer of that data, the warehousing of that data, and the time series management. So we've been very active in enhancing these capabilities over the years with our customers. Uh, in fact, this year has been very busy in, in the Nordics. We've been working with our customers to adapt to the platforms to the market changes, uh, the MFFR uh, market change, the 15-minute uh, settlement uh, changes and also the single price model. So we're very active in continuing in enhancing the capabilities of the platform. And regarding their, their, the reception of our customers on the, on the build program that we have with PowerDesk, it's highly complementary. Actually, PowerDesk sits uh, uh, alongside or on top of the EDM platform that is uh, very well known and used by many of our customers in the Nordics. So it's a, it's a very comp complementary uh, strategy. In fact, our customers in the Nordics have formed an advisory group and we're, we're very closely in touch in communication with our customers on the development of PowerDesk. One of our customers has already done a proof of concept of, uh, of the program and we're about to deliver the, the final version of the product to, the, to, to that customer. Great. Uh, in terms of the other commodities that Brady services, and in particular metals, uh, metals has been a, a very productive market for Brady over the last decade or so, and, and you've had a market leading position there for some time. What's your strategy for addressing that, that metals market going forward, uh, given your, your product strategy? Um, and what's the future look like for the other non-energy commodities that Brady services? Thank you, Patrick. Well, um, commodities trading remains a core activity at Brady. And let's remember that when the company was founded in 1985, the first solution was actually a derivative solution for the members of the company. And uh, over the three decades, uh, we've developed uh, a very deep expertise, a lot of IP in trading in metals, in, in concentrates. Uh, same strategy, Patrick. It's about uh, enhancing the capabilities and modernizing the capabilities of the platform for our customers. In fact, we have been uh, super active again 
uh, on that front this year. We have some new projects and uh, uh, some new logos on the FinTrade side. And we just completed a major project with one of the largest corporations in the world on a, on a Trinity implementation that went successfully live actually uh, on Monday and we were celebrating yesterday with a customer. So uh, we will be very soon releasing some uh, press release about that, that project. So very active on the commodities front also. Well, great, great. Congratulations on that. And uh, we look forward to seeing that, that news release come out. Uh, let's go ahead and, and close our conversation by, by looking forward a bit. Uh, we've been a, it's been a very dynamic market over the last several years with the energy transition that we're going through globally with the supply chain issues, et cetera, uh, that we've experienced with the pandemic. Uh, but looking forward five years, how do you see the, the market developing overall in terms of ETRM, CTRM technology? And how do you see Brady fitting into that, that, uh, that development? Well, we, we, we have a very, very positive outlook about uh, the, the market. Uh, clearly on the back to the energy space, the power, the short term power trading is a, a fast developing uh, area. There's a lot of changes happening in that marketplace to, to really adapt to the short term power trading, to the volatility and also to the opportunities that it represents. Uh, we see uh, a lot of opportunities in equipping not only the traditional players in the market, but also helping the new entrants in the market. So we definitely see double digit growth in, in that market and a lot of opportunities for Brady. In the risk management side, uh, similar, similar situation, uh, a lot of opportunities to help our customers to be much more uh, rapid, uh, faster on managing their risk and not only the counterparty risk, by the way, it goes to the same for liquidity risk and, and market risk. So a lot of opportunities of growth in that area and the commodities uh, market continues to be very strong uh, with some new entrants, but mostly with an increase in the volumes and the trading activities. So overall, very positive on the growth for the next uh, few years. Well, great, great. Bernard, I think that's all the time we have for today, but we very much appreciate you joining us. Uh, it's been a very interesting and enlightening conversation. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Patrick, for having me. Thanks. Uh, so that's it for us for this latest episode of Conversations with Leaders in CTRM Technology. Again, I want to thank Mr. Bernard Delahaye, CEO of Brady, for joining us and taking the time to share his thoughts on the market and on Brady in particular. For additional videos like this, uh, you can visit the CTRMCenter.com uh, website or our corporate website at comtechadvisory.com. Uh, you can also check out our CTRM radio podcast there. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you again on our next episode. Thanks so much for joining us.